she caught everything on my head. Like, everything. Y'all know those kitchen dishes we got? Ooh. Welcome back to my channel. Um, you guys can see my background is a little different. I am right now in the living space of my apartment. Um, I told you guys I have other sweet mates. One is cooking right now. The other one is watching Grey's Anatomy. And Jerry just got shot and she's like so like panicky. And I'm like, girl, only if you knew what was up next. Anyway, if you guys are loving this painting behind me like I am right now, I don't know where one of my sweet mates got it from, but it is giving me life. Anyway, let's just get right into the video. Let me tell you guys about the worst pain I've ever felt in my entire life. I mean, this goes beyond when you hit your knee on the corner of a desk. Like, I'm talking pain. Like, worse than when a volleyball hits you in the face, kind of. So... Back in 2013, when I first went back to Ghana for the first time in a while, my sister and I, um, you know, were having fun, and then it was getting time for me to go back to school in the States, and um, my sister was like, I need to get my hair done, and back home, you know, the conversion rate is cheaper. So, to get my hair done here, probably cost 120 I never got my hair done here. My sister always does my hair, but back there, it's probably like maybe $10, $20, I don't know. So we went back to the hair braiding shop and there's like three people that's like braiding hair so it's like all really efficient, fast and really nice. So I was getting my hair done and the lady you know was asking me, um, do you like the states? Um, what state do you live in? Is it fun over there? Are you excited to go back? How was your visit to Ghana? All that good stuff, right? So I'm like, okay, <laughs> she's like asking me a lot of questions, you know, people back home in Ghana are really interested about what the States is like and all that good stuff. And I, I completely understand. I was the same way before I came to the United States. So we had a good conversation. She was braiding really fast. Her, like the braids were coming out really, really nice. And I was like, yes, yes. So we're done. And my aunt came and picked me up. We went back home. And then it hit me. My aunt was talking to me when we are leaving, and she was like saying something for me to look in the opposite direction. I kid you not, I turned my head like this, and then I could not move any further. My head felt so stiff. I mean, the braids were so tight, which is weird because I did not feel anything when she was braiding my hair. I mean, I was like, wow, this lady, like this is the first time someone is braiding my hair, and I did not feel any kind of pain. So I felt so stiff and showed me look and I was like, like, and it hurt so much. And I was like, okay, maybe like this will last like a, a night or two because, you know, that's what usually happens. So it lasts a night or two. So then I went home and my sister was making fun of me because I couldn't turn my head or anything. So come nighttime, everyone's going to bed, everyone's going to get their beauty sleep, wake up and the next morning, have a good time. I watched my sister go to sleep and sleep because I could not sleep. Like, my head was so tight, it felt, it felt like someone took screwdrivers and literally screwed on every braid on my head. It's like someone who's a size large wearing the extra, extra small pants. Like, and that's like no offense to anyone who's a size large or beautiful, all that good stuff. But no, just to the, describe the pain that I felt. So a day, a night went by and I was like, cool, whatever, I couldn't sleep. But you know, it's supposed to get better. It's supposed to get better. But no, next night came, I couldn't sleep, couldn't turn my head. I literally was just in so much pain that I wanted the brace taken out. Now that I get the brace taken out, like no, I paid for it. Like <laughs> the brace did not come out, but it was just so painful. And it wasn't until like a good three days later that my head finally got some relief like oh my gosh y'all africans oh africans braid is so tight and they're not all like that not all the african braiders are like that guys i'm getting so passionate about this like i'm just like talking with my head moving my head it's because it hurts so much like reminiscence like you know what like <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> I'm fine. No, but it hurts so much. But 
Oh, that is the worst pain I've ever felt in my life. So before you get your hair braided, literally ask them on a scale one to 10, how tight are your braids? And don't lie to me because I will know after you braid my hair and I will demand a refund. So ask them, go ahead and ask because that lady did me dirty. As good of justice as she did me because my hair turned out so well, she did me dirty. Will I ever, ever go back and like do it again? Probably not. Too, too painful. Anyway, that's all for today. I um, want to tell you guys about the worst pain I've ever felt. Um, so, yes, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Um, comment down below what is the worst pain you have ever felt. And yes, we're just having a good time. It's summertime, so you know, I have to have my crop shirts on. You know, just a, just a, just a little bit of skin. Ain't never hurt nobody. Uh -huh. No, no, I'm kidding. I'm about to go eat. I'm, I'm, I'm too hungry for this.